So I have made a change and I will be starting the TCM Practical Web Pen Test Professional course, pathway, whatever you want to call it, and I will be doing this exam. Made the switch, even though I'm going to be leaving for a week coming up uh, for Hacker Summer Camp, Black Hat and DEF CON. However, I'm going to be there early, so I'm going to be doing some more deep work, dive tuning in, learning from some people that I'll be staying with, and also uh, getting ready to just deep dive into web after DEF CON and, you know, OSWE, CWE as well. Hopefully to get those all accomplished by the end of the year. And also, hopefully the OS, OSEP. However, I have read that that certification is still old in the tank, 2021-ish, if I'm not mistaken. So let's dive right in and see what the practical web pen test professional is all about. So why did I do this, especially at a crazy time, especially since I'm going to be gone a week? Um, I did this because I want to get started and I want to be already in the groove of things when I get back. And I'm also going to be staying with a couple people uh, off the strip, uh, more so towards the, uh, I guess, convention center side. Uh, so for that, you know, I want to, the people I'm going to be staying with, uh, especially one person in particular, has a lot of knowledge in web. And I want to pick their brain, get some, get some knowledge behind my issue of studying, um, and especially on web and API, because this is my issue. I don't know if you guys have it as well. But, you know, you get all the easy web stuff. Um, and I will say I have it went all the way through Port uh, Swigger for Burp Sweet training. I, I've only done a couple of them, to be honest. But you know when you get some of these easy trainings on the web stuff, um, the easy authentication, the easy brute forcing, I want to see actual real life like shit that you're going to see in the wild for web. Like some of the newest attacks that are out there, that's my issue with web. If I don't see that and I get some rinky dink, what was it, D DVWA or whatever type shit, like... I need to see the actual hard shit to get the full understanding, the methodology behind it. Like that is my issue with web training. Um, I haven't found that out there. I haven't, I just barely launched the, um, I think the first two training modules. So I hope this one, this training does that for me. Uh, that's my issue with web and API. Like again, they have their, Basic scenarios, and I get that. That's for the understanding, um, knowing how the vulnerabilities, exploits work, etc. I get all that. But for me, like if they could just create something that is literally out in the wild for some of these new, um, you know, web vulnerabilities out there to get a better understanding. That is my issue with web, and that's that's the issue I have picking it up. I could pick it up, like if I piggyback or shadow someone, and that's how I learn. That helps me out with web. Web, is, I learn web and API completely different than I do Active Directory. And I know most people, from at least that I know and who I've seen, aren't like that. Um, like AD, internal, even other niches in physical, or physical. God damn, why do I keep doing that? Even other niches in offensive security, right? Playing with the... Um, the uh, payment village badge, putting that together, understanding how that works. Like it's, it's, I just pick it up quick. Active directory, quick, quick, quick. But web, I need to see it actually in the wild for that understanding. Um, and I need to not just see the rinky dink stuff. And I don't mean to bash on the rinky dink stuff. I get that why they're there for the training, the understanding, but it's different in the wild. So that is my, that, that is why I want to, um, get this going, especially doing the advanced certifications with web. And that's my missing pieces um, that I feel I need. I don't know. I might be wrong, but that's what I feel that I need to knock out the rest of the year. Even if I got to put the other ones on the back burner and I can't get them done, that's fine. Um, but I need web and API, the advanced certs. And I'm not just doing it just for the certs, but the training, the advanced training. You know, I already got the CB, CBBH. Um, I understand that stuff to a T, but I need the advanced stuff. Uh, 
I'm just hoping that the trainings, uh, I haven't did any of the CW, CWEE training pathways at all. I don't think I've done one, um, to be honest with you. Unless it was part of the CPTS, but I don't recall. Uh, I don't, I don't think I've done any, but uh, I did do the OSWE training. I had a free voucher back in 20, end of 2022. Um, end of 20, December, no, November, December, January, 2022, 2023. The training looked horrible. I didn't take the exam. I pretty much wasted it because I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, it was just kind of a freebie here. Try it. Um, it was not sponsored or anything. One of my friends had it, he gave it to me. Um, but I wasn't ready for that exam, and they had a lot of more of the code review. Code review, and I believe it was some Python stuff at that time. So let's go through this. Uh, learn how to hack, then prove it. Right? Learn how to hack the training, then prove it through the exam or the certification. What is the Practical Web Pen Test Professional (PWPP) exam? The Practical Web Pen Test Professional Certification is a professional level penetration testing exam experience. This exam will ex assess a student's ability to perform a web application penetration test by requiring them to exploit more advanced vulnerabilities, including NoSQL, race conditions, mass assignment, SSRF, template injection, and more. Students will have three full days to complete the assessment and an additional two days to write the, a professional report. So that's not bad, actually. So. Looks like this is going to be a fairly shortish exam, uh, kind of, for three days, three full days, I guess, depending on how you break it up. So it's not bad. Uh, what's included? 60 plus hours of on-demand training, 12 months access, hands-on local local labs, one exam, one free retake, lifetime. Yeah, so it's pretty much kind of identical to the uh, PNPT, basic system requirements, obviously. How to pass the PWPP exam. The PWPP is a challenging exam that simulates a real world web application penetration test experience. In order to receive the certification, a student must exploit a web application using a preferred tool or techniques. Provide a detailed, professionally written report. Pretty standard, um, straightforward. Uh, practical web pen test professional exam format. Like all TCM security certifications, the PWPP exam was designed to teach students how to apply their skills in a real-world situation. This is not a CTF. Our exams provide an experience that is similar to what you'd be tasked to do in the professional environment. So yes, that is true. Taking the PNPT, there is no flags. And sometimes when you come from that CTF flaggy exam cert, you're like, holy shit, how am I going to do this exam? Or, uh, you know, like, what am I going to do to mark up? And it's like, Wait, hold on. I do this in the real world. Uh, you just show your fi findings. So that does get you sometimes. It got, believe it or not, it got me. Um, uh, that is not why I failed the PMPT reports twice, believe it or not. Uh, it was because I forgot um, one thing. So, uh, yeah, that is uh, that is pretty true. It's, it's pretty much like you are actually doing a pen test in the wild in, in real life. Um, I actually like that structure better, uh, but hey, uh, teach is on, right? I think they are both good, um, depending on how they're training structure. That's just my opinion. I think both of them are, are good in that way. Uh, you should take the practical web pen, pet web pen test professional exam, or who should take the exam for that matter. The PWPP is a professional level exam. Clients should pre ha have a previous web application hacking experience, either from their workforce or from completing our training courses. We offer an associate level exam, which I did have. I do have. I never took the exam. Um, I did the original first uh, web training, and then they came up to, the, and then they got a new one for the bug bounty one, and then I got the API when it was on its own. The practical web pen test associates are. Certification for those who are just starting out in the web application penetration testing. PWPP exam is good for fit for QA. Yeah, so it goes through the whole line. I'm not going to read all that. So, yeah, back, it, they had a, a first web app course. Then they came out with the API, which I had both of those. I have both of those. I think, I don't know, I forgot if that um, first web one was like you get it for life. Uh, before they switch to the subscription model, um, the API I have, uh, and then they came out with that bug bounty one, which is their beginner cert, PW, 
EA, I believe it is now. Um, and then that bug bounty, uh, which is similar to, to CBBH, comes with also the API, um, of course, as well. So if you buy those, you get those. So if you buy that full package with the certification, same with this, you get them for life as well. And also any other changes. So pretty much this goes through this, how to prepare for the exam, uh, you know, the practical web hacking, web hacking course, practical API hacking course. So if you haven't took the bug bounty, um, I'm not sure if this comes with this, to be honest with you, um, because I already had it. So I would I would assume so if they're going to say you need it. Um, but if you got the one before, then you already have it. No need to worry. Um, so if you enroll, it's 500 bucks pretty much for lifetime access for the training. And then you get the two, two uh, vouchers for your exam. And, uh, oh, wait, no, it is different. Included with your purchase is 12 months access to the practical web. Oh, wow, it's different now. So it's only 12 months. Wow. That did change. Huh, interesting. So I guess you only get 12 months access to the course now. That, yeah, that is crazy. Um, so I guess you don't get the updates. But I guess, yeah, I didn't know they made that switch. I wonder if they made that switch when they, they changed the name. But I guess it is what it is, right? Times have changed. So um, it's still a great deal in my, my mind, my opinion. But, um, yeah, so that kind of does suck. But, I mean, I would like to get the free updates, the courses, the, the material, new vulnerabilities, new, you know, whatever the case may be with that training. So uh let's see yeah so i wonder i so i guess mine i do keep my api one because i got it before they made the switch i don't recall them making the switch i don't remember seeing an announcement on linkedin or anything but it is what it is so i guess you get it only for 12 months still not bad for 500 bucks um you get it that's kind of like the year one subscription from offset but uh yeah so this is my what i'm going to be doing uh and then and, and then again i want to take advantage of who i'm going to be around with at or you know, staying with at the hacker uh, dojo, secret location, Airbnb, and just learn as much as I can, right? Uh, especially, and again, the advanced stuff is what I I want to get ahead to, uh, and pretty much pick the brain and just and just see how I how see how they take it in, see how they learn, see see how they see things differently than I do. Um, just to get some switches flipped on my head. Uh, again, this is what this is my weakest portion in offensive security. Um, at least I feel it is. There are times where I could do some crazy Tony Romo shit, <clears throat> but I want to be consistent at it, right? Because um, Cowboys should have won a million Super Bowls during that time. But anyway, that is what I'm planning on doing. Um, and I started the I started this last or this past Thursday. Just got everything set up, did the first two or three or four videos, and uh, I'm going to kick it off starting tomorrow um, on the plane, airport, uh, on the free time that I have until the conferences start on Wednesday, outside of going to some of the dinners, lunches, and happy hours, Monday, Tuesday. Um, I'm going to be doing this on my free time and the gym, going running, etc. So that is my plan. I'm, I'm switching, putting a pause, switching everything, straight focusing on web. API for the advanced certs. And my goal is to get OSWE, OS or OSWE, CWE at the end of the year by December 31st. Those, those, those are my goals. Uh, and again, it's not just to collect the certs, but just to get the overall understanding and knowledge on the advanced web stuff and API stuff. Now, the reason why I am doing the certs because yeah, you don't need the certs, right? Um, is because when I do the cert, I'm going to be 100% hyper focused on the training course material. And it's going to make me, you know, I'm putting it out there that I am going to take it and I am going to pass it. So, uh, you know, the other ones I have to put on the back burner because I just had so much shit going on up and down, up and down, starting my own thing on the side. It was tough. Uh, I took on a lot. And, uh, you know, I finally got everything good now. <clears throat> everything is going back up to where it needs to be. Um, got some new stuff in store after DEF CON. 
Um, especially for the biohacking village, I am going to be doing a lot of different content, switching up on a different niche. Uh, that some of the one, this is one of the good things that just happened. Um, I will announce that soon after DefCon. Um, so yeah, that's the video, guys. That is my plan, my switch, my focus for the from here on out. Number one priority is those two advanced certification web certs training material, but more importantly, being able to understand, gain, and you know have a great foundation knowledge base of the advanced web and API stuff. Uh, that is my goal. Again, I learn it differently. It's, it's it's harder for me to learn the advanced stuff than the active the advanced Active Directory. That's just the way my brain works. I need to see actual. This is why I'm kind of glad I'm staying with like-minded people. Uh, I'm not the smartest one in the room because I want to see how they understand it, and I want to I want them to pull some real-world shit out there, not some DVWA or whatever, uh, you know, or some lab that's just going to teach the basic fundament. I mean, I want to see actual real-life stuff. It's like uh, you know, we had a third-party pen test, and they bypass. Uh, Akamai, I believe it was Akamai, by throwing a shit ton of junk into the the request in Burp Suite. See, I need I need to see shit like that, like how that, like actually eyes on how they did it. Talking to them, like you know, I can't just go through rinky dink stuff and then expect to get the you know that just doesn't do it for me. Um, so this is why I'm doing it. I thought felt it was the perfect time, especially on who I'm staying with. And uh, yeah, that's the video, guys. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you agree or disagree if I made the right decision. Um, and again, like I, I just got something good going right now. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to be doing that as content as well, um, if I can. Um, maybe doing some live tests and demos on a specific niche, quote unquote. Hence the biohacking village. Since I I love that village. That's one of the two I talk about. Uh, this will be my third year going to it. Um, that and the payment village are my my two my, my top two favorites. Uh, I just fell in love with those. Uh, if I can, uh, I am going to the AppSec village because I'm going to be volunteering one day, and then also, but if I can, Bug Bounty or the Adversary village as well, or the car um, if I can. So that's the video, guys. Uh, I'll let you guys know if I can and will drop those con. I will drop those contents. Uh, of that specific niche in offensive security, but I'm going to see how much I can and will be allowed to do. Uh, that will happen after uh, DEF CON. So that's it for the video, guys. Have a good one and uh, start the week off right tomorrow as it is Monday. You guys, uh, see you guys on the next one.